Okay, here we are at the entrance of the market. I'm gonna go in and see if I can get some like local Oaxacan food to try out. Okay, so this is the smallest ball of cheese that they sell. I'm gonna take this one home and eat it with some avocado on toast later. Maybe for dins. For now, it's going in the bag. I decided to get the bugs like getting the like medium size and the large to try. Everything is beautiful here in Oaxaca. I, I love the weaving, I love the embroidery, I love everything about it. It's just their style, their taste is so good. I would be broke if I lived here because things are just too good of a deal. Okay, I got my bugs, I got my baskets, I got my small t-shirt with a lady smoking mushrooms on the front. Uh, Maria Sabina, who's from Oaxaca and is famous for being really into mushrooms. And now I'm gonna go to a really fancy spot that I saw and sit on the rooftop and get myself a nice drink and try out these bugs. Look at these nice ladies. These are the ones that made my baskets. Look at them go. Look at them do it. As much as I hate the rules of Mexico, man, I love the people. go up here to that rooftop and have a drink because it looks fancy and that's what I want right now. I feel like I need to treat myself. Luna's been teething, I've been having a rough day. We obviously both need a shot of mezcal. Let me try some of these bugs. Is it for me? Yum. Yummy, 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 yummy. Salty. Salty? Spicy. Yeah. Let me try. Ooh. Okay, you can have one. They're pretty spicy. I don't think they're really for you. <laughs> You know what? Those freaking buds were delicious. Even Luna liked them and they were spicy as all hell. But if you ever get a chance to eat them, man, with a beer, and that was like an artisanal local beer, which the guy was like, you want to make it a chilada? You're ruining the beer, but you know I don't give two shits about that. Okay, I got my Maria Sabina t-shirt on. She was a lady who died in 1985 but was a huge believer in the medicinal properties of mushrooms and did a bunch of mushrooms before she died. And now that we've had the bugs, which by the way are really delicious, we're gonna do a little cooking at home in the Airbnb I'm staying in. Uh, I've got this whole wheat bread. It's not the greatest, but it's what was available. I got myself a couple of tomatoes at the market today an avocado, and the pièce de résistance, Oaxaca cheese. If you're from Canada, then you know about cheese curds in Quebec. It's what they make poutine from. So cheese curds don't need to be refrigerated. They're very squeaky. Oaxaca cheese is very similar. It does not need to be refrigerated. Although I do believe that it goes bad quite quickly. Like it's only good and fresh when you get it. And then yeah, you don't need to refrigerate it comes in a ball like this. If you look closely, it's like, it's like stringy cheese made into a ball. 
Salt really makes it. Mmm. It's delicious. The cheese is actually really fresh. It totally tastes like cheese curds. Really squeaky, you know? Wanna try some cheese? Our very last stop on this culinary journey is we are here at a little store that specializes in cacao drinks. Um, cacao is what chocolate is made from. It's really big all throughout Mayan countries. So here in Oaxaca, in Chiapas, and of course in Guatemala where we live. And this is a really cute little shop that just sells hot chocolate basically. Uh, but the real thing, the medicinal stuff, the stuff that's good for you. Chili. 